birds, 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 birds are on the balcony. What's that I spy? That's not a plane, that's a bird flying high. Stick my arm out, got some binox in my hand. Put some seeds there and that's where the bird will land. Birds, 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 birds. Live track, Grammy Award winning. Welcome back, everyone. This is episode five. I'm your host, Alejandro. So how does it go? <laughs> that was pretty good, though. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Alejandro. And behind the camera, a special person, my sister, a.k.a. Priscilla Van Waza. You didn't say sissy. A.k.a. sissy. We are here for episode five. Five. Sis, we made a whole hand. Oh, high five. Oh, high five, brother. <laughs> So this bird that we're going to talk about today can be seen all throughout the city. It's probably New York City's famous bird. New York City's probably most hated bird, unfortunately. And that bird is the rock pigeon. Sis, before we get into the rock pigeon, I want to talk about it. Because everyone knows, like anyone from New York City knows about the rock pigeon. Kind of. You know? Uh, I've been told that people describe the rock pigeon as like the rats in the sky. Well, guess what? I'm here to change your mind today. So ne my goal is next time you see a pigeon to think about one of these facts that we're going to display and share with you all today. But before we get started, let's hear from a true New Yorker. Sister, when you think of the rock pigeon or when you see a rock pigeon, truthfully, what do you think of? Oh, you know what I think of when I think of the rock pigeon? I think of when daddy used to take us to feed them rice. <laughs> You remember? <laughs> and then he used to catch one and we used to be able to touch it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've never touched a pigeon in my life. I don't remember that. <laughs> but our pigeons are New Yorkers, all right? They live here, they're here all season long, and they're out here even throughout the winter, okay? But let's get, let's just dive right into it. The pigeon. So it's, uh, normally its plumage is that gray, uh, it's that gray plumage on its back and it has two like black bands on its uh, wings. Um, it's a short plumpy bird. Uh, well, not short, but it's a plumpy bird with short legs. It has a thin, uh, narrow uh, beak. Um, and a, a lot of pigeons commonly have that green and purple um, iridescence on its neck. I think they're the thing that a lot of people uh, miss. Um, but pigeons don't only have to be that plumage. Kind of like humans, they come in many different colors and variants, uh, but pigeons are able to coexist peacefully in one flock. Um, so some of these pigeons are, can be white, some of these pigeons can be brown, um, but they're all the same species. Now, what do they eat? Everything. They eat everything, right? <laughs> but commonly, pigeons, not in cities, are known, they mostly eat grains. So they mostly eat seeds, they mostly eat grains, sometimes they eat berries, sometimes they even eat acorns, and sometimes even earthworms. But when they live in cities, they mostly eat whatever's been left over by humans. And a lot of times, I've seen a lot of humans in parks as well, feed pigeons bread. Please do not feed birds bread. Just like for humans, if humans were to eat bread every day, uh, it's just not healthy. It doesn't have a lot of nutritional value for the pigeons. Uh, and what's one cool thing about pigeons, that pigeons are, uh, very smart. They also served as message carriers um, and the most famous message carrier in American history is actually a pigeon uh, uh, called Cher Armie where our American troops were trapped and they let Cher Armie go to let the um, other American soldiers know that that they were in trouble. Um, Cher Armie uh, was actually shot in the air um, you know in the chest and uh, apparently when it got to the message delivered, it's like leg was broken and it was missing an eye, but the message was delivered and it helped us win that battle during World War I. Yay, Pidgey. <laughs> so for mammals, we produce uh, milk for our young. Um, most birds don't do that, but pigeons do. They produce a crop milk and that's both in the male and female species. So uh, pigeons will actually like feed this milk that's filled with healthy fats, proteins, and other nutrition to their young. And so pigeons drink pigeon milk. I didn't know that beforehand. All right, recording live is two blue jays, right? In this oak tree right here, we have a squirrel up on the top of the tree. There are two blue jays dive bombing the squirrel. So when, when, when 
birds dive bomb is because there, uh, there's a predator or a threat nearby. So I'm assuming there must be a nest nearby that tree that the blue jays are dive bombing for the squirrel. Like their courtship, so the pigeons kind of, you know, they kind of bop their heads around, uh, get, you know, they try to flex um, for their potential mate as well. And they'll do like a cooing because that's how you identify pigeons um, by sound. Wow. What is it? It's a little feather. Oh, God. Um, but uh, they coo. But another way, and I've seen this happen on, on like the top of, of my office building where I, uh, for Christador. So male pigeons will actually grab the beak of a female pigeon and regurgitate its food as a, as a thing Ew. of courtship. Like, here is my dinner. Here's what I ate? Yeah. So does she, like, choose her mate based off um, what? What they ate? If they liked it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's just one way of courtship. Okay. So, life of a pigeon is hard. A lot of New Yorkers, they don't like the pigeons. Hopefully by the end of this episode, that'll change your mind. Uh, a lot of hawks feed on pigeons. So their food for hawks and other peregrine falcons that, uh, that are here in the city as well. And now the rats have, in New York City have evolved to even hunting pigeons. So now they have a new predator that's, uh, that's in their way. Oh, Life wow. of a pigeon is hard. Feel bad for the pigeon. Feel for the pigeon. The pigeon is a New Yorker. <laughs> it has gotten to that portion of the episode where it is review time. So, sis. Brother. <laughs> what do pigeons naturally eat if they weren't in the city? Uh, seeds. Seeds, right? And seeds grains. are made mostly grains. Excellent. One bonus point for the audience. All right, everyone. That was episode five. We learned about the pigeon. We suddenly learned about the blue jay. Two in one. Uh... A duo, a dynamic duo. Uh, kind of like a dynamic duo. Or a two-for-one special. Kind of like a two-for-one special. <laughs> kind of like the city, part concrete, part jungle, two-for-one. What? <laughs> 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 we'll see you next week for a full episode six. Sis, cue the outro. <laughs> Yay. This episode was brought to you by Christadora, Nature, Learning, Leadership, where we help New York City students connect with the nature. For more information on who we are, visit our website, christadora.org. To join the social media fund, don't forget the hashtags, Winging It with Alejandro, Nature from My Window, Christadora.